Free polling opens in Queensland today for voters unable to cast their ballot in this month's state election. On the campaign trail, the Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk is talking up infrastructure projects, promising to open a children's ward at Townsville Hospital. Meantime, opposition leader Tim Nichols has put cost of living and transport as key features of the LNP campaign. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, reduce the price for an average family by about $160, we calculate. What, we, what we're going to do is we're going to break up, if you like, the duopoly of the generators, which the uh, competition, Australian Competition Commission has said has led to 70% increases in electricity, wholesale electricity prices under this Labor government in the last 12 months. So introducing competition and we're also uh, going to write off about $2 billion worth of the asset value of the networks, which will also lead to a, a reduction. And from 2020, with the uh, new energy guarantee that's being put in place by the Turnbull government, that will save around about another $300, $315. We've been conservative and taken the lower end. So by 2020, an average family will save about $460 uh, over, the, over, the, um, over the year in their power bills. Labor have now um, out, have outspent and outcommitted us. Uh, Mr Quiggan is very quiet on the fact that Labor have raided $5 billion from public servants superannuation, stopped paying public servants superannuation into that fund, raided the long service leave and done debt transfers to cover up all of their financial shenanigans. Now, if Mr Quiggan was truly independent, he would also be questioning the Labor government's position on all of those matters and how they're funding their uncustard promises. I am not making $20 billion worth of promises during this election. Uh, we are very conservative when we, we, and we've always delivered measured and responsible budgets, and we will continue to do that. Our commitments will be fully costed, and they will be released in time for the entire public to understand before they go and vote on election day. Now, the issue for Tim Nichols is no one can trust him. They said before the last election that they would not sell the assets. And then what do they do? They went to an election talking about asset sales. And the people of Queensland voted very strongly to stop the sale of the assets. And you only have to go and talk to the 14,000 people. Now, let's not forget, too, there are also thousands and thousands of other people who lost their jobs in community organisations as well. So the, so the total number is a, is a lot larger than 14,000. And these are not numbers on a piece of paper. The, these are real people that have families and need to provide for their families. And it was absolutely disgraceful uh, how he axed those jobs.